what's going on guys welcome back to another video this is going to be episode one of building feed in lego this series is going to carry us all the way from now until august the first week of august is brick fair virginia this year and as i normally do i'm going to be displaying this again at brick fair virginia and this is also going to be another collaboration with my friend daniel as we've done in the past few years so without further ado let's jump right into it so starting off this episode, let's just look at the plans for Theed. As you can see, it's split up into a bunch of different sections. The big boxes are gray base plates, and the row of blue base plates at the bottom are going to be 16 by 32 base plates, and those are just going to be water. Everything blue on this is water, and all of the gray is the main level, the floor basically of the mock. The tan stuff, all the way on the left is the arch from the Phantom Menace, where the flash speeder comes through and blows up the AAT. In the middle, the weird funky looking thing is going to be a bridge. And hopefully if we can make it work, this will be split into two smaller bridges, one at the top and one at the bottom instead of one big one, because I think that will just make it look a little bit more interesting. And then all the way over on the right, the weird green box kind of thing this is going to be a mixture of two different areas from Battlefront 2. The first being the cool landscaped area with a gazebo and trees and everything like that. And the second is a string light kind of area with a fountain in the middle. So we're going to combine those, basically just take the lights from the fountain area and add them over top of the gazebo. And we haven't figured out exactly how we want to do that yet, but that is the goal. And then all those sand green kind of boxes and circles are going to be the roofs of houses and the orange kind of stuff is the same thing but dark orange roofs and then all the way over on the left the green rectangular thing is going to be just a little strip of foliage and maybe some trees and stuff lining the main street and that's basically everything that i have to cover with the plans so let's jump right into some progress so one of the first things that I wanted to nail down was the water and I didn't want it to be super bright. Me and Daniel kind of discussed it. We said definitely not trans light blue and we didn't really want to do trans dark blue either. We felt that if we used a blue color, it would just be too blue. And I feel like when you watch some of the scenes from episode one and if you look at it in Battlefront 2, it is pretty dark it's not really a very vibrant color so we wanted to use trans black tiles and the next thing that we had to figure out was how to have some bit of a blue hue underneath those tiles and as you can see here blue all the way on the left stands out way too much and black all the way on the right is what we did for endor and it worked really well for endor because it's almost like a little bit of a brown tinge but obviously this is Nabu, so we wanted to have blue. So I think the best look for us is going to be the dark blue with trans black over top. The other decision that we made to add in some visual interest is to have an angled section of the floor instead of it all just being rigid straight squares. So trying to figure out the angled section right away is definitely important because you can't really start adding in many details and figuring things out until you have your base all set up. So this was just something that I came up with. I was tinkering around and just trying to figure out what kind of looked right, what matched up with the plans. And so basically what we have here is four studs in the middle here, and then another four studs over on the end. And this is going to be just about twice as long. There's going to be more of it over on that base plate next to it so this is just figuring out the one section that i'm doing and what i did was obviously this is just a bunch of bricks and this is not what the final texturing is going to look like i just didn't want it to be a straight slab of bricks and then we just got some cheese slopes on the end so that when you put it next to here there's not a huge gap and the only problem with this is it looks fine from this side but once you start getting in close, you can really kind of see a gap. And I emphasize this by putting a headlight brick with a tile on it. And that kind of emphasizes the half plate offset that this has. So I'm not, this isn't a final design. This was kind of just figuring out 
how things were going to start looking. And as you can see, I have some dark blue with the trans black over top of it. And I think this is just about the right look that I want for the water. So I'm not sure about the height of this either. I'm trying to figure out next to a minifigure how tall it should be. There are a couple scenes in The Phantom Menace, especially right in a deleted scene of where Jar Jar and Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan get out of the Gungan sub in the city. And then you can see the entire wall behind them. So I'll probably go back, look at that as a reference, try and figure out kind of the scale as well as just figuring out what is going to be easiest for us because obviously the entire city behind there is going to have to be elevated as well. A certain amount of bricks and then maybe a layer of plates and then tiles on top of that or something just to keep it simple. Just kind of getting a little bit of an idea of how this is going to look. That's kind of my main goal here and I like this so far. I'm still gonna be working on obviously this little gap there, but other than that, I think this is a pretty good start and we'll keep on going. As I mentioned in the plans, there are going to be a few buildings with domed roofs. So that was another thing that I wanted to figure out. How do I wanna build that? As you guys know, Sand Green has a very limited variety of pieces. So trying to come up with domed techniques that you can still build in exclusively sand green pieces is a little bit of a challenge, but these are just the ones that I came up with pretty quickly. I'll still obviously be going back and working on these as well as trying to come up with some new ones. But the first one that I really wanted to try to incorporate is this one. This is using half of the planet from the planet series. This is obviously Naboo. The problem with this is these little teeth at the bottom don't connect to anything except for the other half of the sphere. So that makes it a little bit of a challenge as well as the size of this. There isn't really anything that fits perfectly with this to hide gaps. This is what I came up with quickly. Obviously this isn't anything spectacular. It's just sandwich tiles in the corners. But when you put the dome in there, it kind of works all right. There are still a lot of gaps though, so this isn't a final design, as you can see there. And it's also not connected, so it kind of jiggles around in place. So this is still a work in progress, but that was just the first thing that I kind of came up with. Definitely want to try and figure out a little bit of a better way to hide the gaps and blend this in to tiles underneath it. And the second size is this one. This is a smaller dome, and it's obviously a stud dome. This is built out of almost exclusively one by two plates. So it made it a little bit difficult trying to come up with the sphere, but I came up with this using a couple different of the Lego ball designs, and I just kind of cut it in half and made a spherical shape. This one I really like actually. The only thing obviously is the fact that there's a bunch of studs all over the place. So I might go back with tiles and try and smooth it out and just make it look a little bit better. But the nice thing with this is you can kind of make it whatever size you want, except for smaller, which brings us to the last one. And this was actually the first design that I came up with, and this is probably my least favorite. I originally had done this with curved slopes instead of these cheese slopes, but the problem I had with that was it was more of a cone shape than a dome. So I switched it out for cheese slopes, and the problem is, there's a lot of gaps, like a lot of gaps. And when you look at it from the top, it's horrible, but from the side, it's a little bit better, but that's because it's black. And once you put in a brighter color, like I made this one out of white, those gaps really, really stick out. So this one is probably going to go to the scrapyard. I'm definitely, I don't think, going to be using this. I wanted to use something with the 3x3 dish because that's one of the only dishes available in Sand Green. So that's why I was trying to come up with this and it's definitely not going to stick, unfortunately. So back to the drawing board with the small dome. But as for the other two, this one I like. A couple things that I need to touch up in this one, same story, but that's what I've got so far. To finish out the video, guys, I got in a little bit of a haul. I went to a Lego store just to see if they had any pieces that I could use for Theed, and they had kind of a couple interesting pieces, nothing too crazy unfortunately, so I only ended up getting a small cup, but I'll go ahead and sort all this out and show you guys what I got. 
Alright, so as I said, the LEGO store that I went to didn't have a ton of great pieces for Theed specifically, but it did have some pieces that I could make work or just are useful to have in general. And the first thing that I want to point out is the black panels all the way in the back. These things are really useful for if you're making black border mocks or just as filler because they take up so much space. And so that's why I picked these up. There was only a couple of them. They weren't actually part of the wall. They were just in a bin sitting over by where all the cups and base plates were. So that's why I've just grabbed a few of those. The next piece is these. These I picked up because I could definitely make this work around doorways or windows or just different areas of buildings, just adding in a little bit of detail. And the next thing is this. These are clear panels and the reason I got these is because if there's a way for me to use these as the windows in Theed, that would really help out because I just got, you know, a lot of those. And you know, they're kind of cool. They're, you don't see any studs or anything through them. So if I could find a way to make these the windows of Theed, that would make it really easy and also look pretty cool. And the next piece is the 1x2 by two snot brick in yellowish green. I love this color and this is just a really useful piece to have in any color. So this is just an easy pick for me. I grabbed as many of these as I could find. And the second to last thing are these. And these used to be pretty rare. They used to only come on the minifigure scale porg. So these are really cool if you want to do lights and just as detail if you're making a white mock. And the last piece are these little claw pieces in tan. And the reason I got these is because obviously they can make some pretty cool looking details. You can kind of put them in any which way to make some interesting looking things for buildings, maybe in balconies or things like that. So that's why I grabbed these. So not the best haul obviously for Theed, nothing too crazy or game changing but definitely a nice find for some of these parts. All right, guys, that is going to wrap up episode one of Building Theed. We got a couple things done this week, figured out the water and started prototyping some of the domes. And I have a couple more ideas of things that I wanna put into the domes, as well as starting on the wall next to the water. And I got in a couple pieces and I'm gonna have more coming in the coming weeks. And next week, definitely going to have a lot of progress. This week was basically just kind of figuring out the planning and a couple little things and next week is going to be really digging in to some of the meat of this build trying to knock out some of the structure figure out placement and all of the fun stuff like that as well as starting putting in some lights i went ahead and picked up some light my bricks products to allow me to use some leftover brick stuff lights that i had so definitely guys if you guys are interested in any lighting kits or lighting stuff for your mocks. Check out my link. It'll give you $10 off your first order at Light My Bricks. And I have a card to that in the top right corner. So definitely make sure to check that out if you guys are interested. And thank you guys so much for watching. It feels really good to be back in a building series. And as I said, this is going to carry us all the way into August. I'm gonna to try to have weekly episodes for this. Hopefully they're gonna be on Saturdays or Sundays, depending on how much time I have throughout the week to work on a video and edit and post and all of that kind of stuff. So hopefully either Saturday or Sunday, but I'm gonna try for every single week and get a lot of progress done each time. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Goodbye.